Hello and welcome everyone to episode 16 of the Valheim Let's Play Survival Series. And in today's episode, I will be showing you the complete inn and tavern build that we were working on back in episode 15. And my brother Soulgazer again is joining us for today's episode. We will also be preparing a bit for the bone mass fight, which will probably be next episode. So with that said, it is time to do a little bit of a tour of the finished inn and tavern build here that you all have been waiting for. We named it the Rosebud Inn. I don't know if any of you have ever watched the show Shit's Creek, but that's where the inspiration for the name came from. But a uh, quick little surround of the outside there. We come inside here and we have a beautiful little potion room, um, mead room, whatever, and Soulgazer has been brewing some frost resistance meads to uh, put there, so that's really nice. So we're getting some frost resistance mead, getting ready for the mountains in a few more episodes here. But we've got that, we've got some poison res that we've been brewing for a while, but anyway. This is the main level, the completed tavern area, plenty of seating, nice wine racks everywhere, a really nice big kitchen back here, so really, really functional. We still have not quite finished the basement here. We still have to put some uh, chests and storage for ingredients and food, but that's essentially the little cellar. And then we come up and around here, and obviously the beautiful deck that we were mentioning in last episode. We have the indoor-outdoor seating area, a nice hot tub area over here, um, just overlooking the little creek there, and then a nice little fire pit over here overlooking the swamp. So again, the fire pit design that I showed you in the last video that I put out, the little tutorial of how to build this, um, fits in really nice here, and we still actually get the fire bonus um, as you can see, because I have a hanging brazier right above it, which gives the fire bonus. So now if we head upstairs, we have a beautiful little sitting area here. Nice little balcony overlooking the back deck there. We have a nice little closet there. And then coming right over around here, the master bedroom. The expensive suite of the in upstairs here so plenty of chests nice bed there and a nice little wooden throne and then coming over here we have the double bedroom with a nice own walkout balcony looking over the ocean and the swamp harbor there so we've got three beds one for each of us one for my sister my brother and i so we are set to go and then a bunch of storage and chests over here a bunch against the wall there so nice little decorative room design quite spacious again the biggest build probably that we'll ever be doing in the episodes for a long time that's the tour of the inn and tavern why don't we sleep and then start preparing for the bone mass fight all right it is now morning it should say what day it is day 93 so 93, right. a bit more days than last episode to finish up this tavern build here <laughs> But One other thing too, the the tavern also, we tried to make it as cozy as possible. And so right now, upper level, we get up to comfort 16. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So it's very it's nice definitely too. pretty nice. So yeah, definitely a very max comfort, beautiful little area here for for a nice, uh, a nice rest at the end of the day or to start the day. So this is essentially our main kitchen, brewing, seating, comfort, bedroom serves as a lot of things as it's kind of the central part of the village here right beside the harbor so all right so Solgaze, you wanted to raid a crypt to grab some yes. iron for some more tools for bone mass and yeah crypt mostly gathering some food you already got the poison resistance so that should be good so that next episode we can take out bone mass Another thing I'll mention is that Bone Mass is all the way over here on the map. So you guys can see that it's very far away, and in that rough circle of the map is where the Mistlands will be spawning in when the Mistlands update comes. 
So in next episode, we may end up going into a different world to take out Bone Mass, just so that um, everybody can get the Swamp Key, or not the Swamp Key, the um, wishbone. wishbone, the Wishbone, so that we can start finding Silver. Um, but then we'll just go straight from Bone Mass, and then we will be taking out Motor probably in this world. But Bone Mass, we don't want to risk traveling all the way over there and possibly exploring some unexplored mistlands, just to be sure that those all spawn in correctly. I already hear some joggers. We'll probably say, take out yeah. a few more abominations. You got the root armor since last episode, so I that's did, a big yeah, that accomplishment there. Quite nice. There's one jogger over here. The root armor is really nice, especially when we get feelings kind of wandering in this area from the plains because of the pierce resistance. Really serves a purpose, so my favorite armor set as of now, to be honest, is the wolf armor that I obtained going into the mountains and the root chest plate because it acts as crazy good um, pierce resistance, so that's a nice thing. Yeah. Um, I think before we go to the crypts, actually, I'm going to get my root mask um, smart, yeah. and actually switch this out because just that poison damage took me down a good chunk. Always left, and then work your way around. That's the way to do the crypts. Yeah, is that All dead right, end? This is a dead end, so... so we'll go ahead and end. head through that one. God, it makes really quick work when we both have the iron picks. <laughs> yes. This is a very quick right. trip end compared end. to what I've done before. Alright, then I guess we go this way. That's also a dead end, it looks like. Yeah. Just make sure we got all the iron out of there. And we'll go through the last pathway now. Kind of funny, you always think the crypt is so small, and usually these last pathways have like endless mazes just. <laughs> oh, thought that was a slime. Alright. Cool. Looks like good. continue oh. straight. Yep. I'll be using my mace on that, but you know what. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do have the iron mace now, that's right. I do, yeah, I made it for the mass. What um, do we got in there? Oh, uh, we've got some resin, some pearls, and some iron head arrows. I'm gonna take all of it. Nice. I'll grab these pearls that are here. Do we already have enough ancient bones to or we have withered like bones? 15. We've got plenty. Perfect. So we'll need those to summon in bone mass. Quite a bit more over here. Old Jogger just minding his business with his little bow. Does not do much to us now that we have the root say, chest place, though. <laughs> ah, you might want some of the stuff in that chest. Woohoo, yes, please. Nice poison arrows. This is probably spawning in right here. Oh, yeah. All right. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Quick work. Quick work. Wow. Okay. This is a lot easier <laughs> than the very first time I did the crypts. You guys remember Ooh, that go. episode from venturing into the swamps? Oh, that wow, was a... Good. How much? That was, that was a good chest. 60 coins, 20 iron, and one chain. 20 iron? Wow. Yeah. That's pretty good. I think, yeah, but yep, so we're back at it. the entrance. Perfect. How All much right. iron do you got? I have 26 iron. Okay, I have 30. So. All right, that's probably good to That is. do a lot of the stuff. Okay. What were you wanting to upgrade? Um, Mainly my mace and my sword. Oh, perfect. That should be enough. And my to... pick, too, because my pick's only level two. I should probably do that. Yeah. I need that for some good terraforming in the 
The mountains. That's true. Terraform the mountains is... Level 2 Iron Pick is already pretty crazy good, though. It is, but... Oh, boy. Um... Abomination. Yep. That certainly is. All right. Let's do this. The axe does so much better damage than the bow and arrow. Oh, Jesus. Oof. Oh, I let took me a, take out, took let a me good take hit out there. Stuff here. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, we're getting Damn. pretty bombarded by a lot of stuff Jesus right now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what, oh, an, what an interesting fight right now. Oh, oh no. Man. All right. All right. That was insane. I'll try to hold the camp down here. We've got okay. like... Okay. <laughs> Oof. Okay, I'm on 38 health. I'm gonna have to lead it away for Sheepers, creepers. just a little bit. <laughs> Abomination wasn't what killed me, but it was just everything else. Yep. That's the beauty oh, of the no swamps. Way. They certainly added a bunch of things to make it interesting, to say the least. All right, I'm on 34. I think I can have this guy now, though. There we go. Okay. Got him. I'm coming. Oh, it's pretty close to the house. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. You should be able to get back and get the get the stuff you wanted. There's, I was running into the swamps, and Abomination just spawns right by the house. Yeah, you should probably uh, get your stuff. Well, yeah, but I can't. I'm going to have to take the long way around. <laughs> yep. No, just, just come over to like where I am, me. essentially. No, please don't oh. destroy the harbor. Uh-oh. Okay. All right, fire arrows would have been the best, but I'm out of fire arrows, so... But you can see that four bow shots with the best bow in the game hardly did any damage to that thing. The equivalent of, like, one axe hit in, like, four or five bow shots, so... That's why the axe nice. is just... Axe is the way to go. Another good way to go is to, uh... Do a lot of rolling when you're taking out the abomination. Yeah. if you well, roll out of the way. That was my problem, is I tried to roll, but the stuff yep. was all in my way. No, oh, I'm <laughs> stuck. I'm stuck in the trees right now with whole bunches of joggers, so... This stuff is usually what, uh... I've got a slight problem. Yep, I have more than a slight problem. <laughs> okay, yep, this is This is Valheim with two people and with higher oh level skills, God. so... You guys can essentially see, this is not modded at all, but this is what the swamp no can end up being. It looks like we have right. a two-star Draugr over here as well. Nice. Let me roll! Why am I carrying too much still? Screw it, I'm dropping iron and I'm running. Alright, yep. I have to remember where that iron is. Yes, I rolled out of the way just in time. Yes, we're good. This is great, this is great. So rolling is super OP if you time it right. It hit me. I was over here and it hit me with that. Yep, it's got quite a ranged attack. Uh, we're getting a little close to the planes here, but... All right, I'm at 23 mm. health now, so we should be able to finish it off. I'm at 15. Let me range it. You, you... Ouch. I'm at 3. Now I'm at 11. Thankfully, I'm rested for 25 seconds. So... If I can stay rested for a few more seconds, then, then we're good to go. I'm trying to range it here. Ouch, I'm on two health. Just get out, run, just run. Yep, that's what the plan is. We've got Ikther activated. We gotta get this thing out, though. And now I don't feel rested, so... Okay, I got it, I got it, we're good. Yeah, I'll put some, if you want to grab some wood from the chest there, we can start making some charcoal to smelt all your iron. Yeah. Let me just get... Perfect. The stuff. Pop a few Pop iron in on. here, and the process is started. Alright, all of our iron is now smelted. Fast forward a few Valheim days. Soulgazer now has his upgrades. Uh, what did you make? Um, I upgraded my sword, my armor, my mace, and my pick. So that's going nice. to be really handy. So, good use of that 60 plus iron that we got out of the crypt. Another thing to mm -hmm. my left. We built 
the official workshop for the village. So that's what we were working on. Figured we'd just get that done um, before I finished up the episode here. Just because all the smelters and everything were just in a big huge pile near these portals. And it just wasn't a very efficient workflow. So with a little bit of wood, we just moved our little temporary shed that was over here. Um, we moved all the stuff inside of it to the back over here. So we now officially have the upgraded forge and workbench. Um, with a nice little crafting area out back. You come right through here. And it looks like I have to move in the bellows just a little bit. Because they're sticking out a little far there. I can run through it, but I'll move them in a little bit. But um, anyway, you can access all of the smelter ports um, through here to be able to smelt your middle and then a nice little charcoal kiln some good storage there nice little roof overhang so i was very happy with this we have a little shed out back here for some coal and a little shed on the other side for some wood so cute little workshop design um that can kind of be the the very center of kind of our village area so we'll kind of wrap around it obviously lake town will be continuing out that way We've got our inn, Swamp Harbor, but it feels like a nice little central point in the meadows for a good little crafting area since it's something we'll be using a lot. So figured that would be the next little, little quick build. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Soulgazer now has the weapons he wants. We are pretty good on food, so stay tuned for the next episode where we will be fighting Bone Mass. And maybe my little sister will join for that one as well if she is around. But with that said... Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Have a great rest of your day. Cheers, Vikings.